So here is some financial data for the apparel company Nike. And we're going to use this as an example of how to conduct a horizontal analysis. Horizontal analysis is also called trend analysis or sometimes basier analysis. And it allows us to compare the data from the same company over several periods. And it's useful uh, to quickly identify direction, rate, and magnitude of what's going on. Uh, and we can easily see changes in the data. And it's sometimes also uh, used as the basis for forecasting. Now here, the data is highly simplified. So you can imagine if this were a real income statement, the page would be full with levels of detail. Uh, but even with this uh, simple view, um, we can see uh, that it's uh, sometimes hard at first glance to spot what's going on. So let's build a simple horizontal analysis with Nike data um, to see what we can learn. Uh, and we'll start with revenue. So to begin, the base year in a horizontal analysis is always expressed as 100%. The base year in this case is the first year, uh, and that's 2013. And then all subsequent years are expressed as percentages of the base year. Base year is 2013 in this example, and we need to calculate the percentages for the rest of the years. So 2014 expresses a percentage of 2013 is 27.7 divided by the base year amount of 25.3, which would give us 110 percent. So 2014 revenue is 110 percent of 2013 revenue. And we can do the same thing for 2015. The base year is still 2013 and now we need to calculate the percentage for 2015. 2015 expressed as a percentage of 2013 is 30.6 divided by the base year amount of 25.3 and this gives us 121 percent. So it's important to note that in this style of analysis, we are not looking for the year-over-year -year change, but the cumulative change over a base year. So if we move on to 2016, we'll see that it's calculated the same way. The base year is still 2013, and now we need to calculate the percentage for 2016. 2016 expressed as a percentage of 2013 is 32.3, divided by the base year amount of 25.3, and it gives us 128%. Now we can carry this forward for any number of years and we can do it for any line of financial data, uh, including we can do it on the balance sheet. And so I'm recommending that you stop the video here and you try to calculate the percentages for the next two lines on the slide, total expenses and net income. And when you've completed it, resume the video. Okay, well here's what I've got. Each line is calculated the same way by holding the base year constant and expressing each subsequent year as a percentage of the base. So what does this tell us? Well, here we can very quickly identify that for Nike, while revenue in 2016 is 128% larger than it was in 2013, expenses are 133% larger. This is a problem. We can see the effect of this in net income, which in 2016 is only 78% of what it was four years earlier. And we can see that clearly, while Nike has had success in growing its top line revenue, its expenses have not increased. Uh, was, uh, pardon me, its expenses have increased faster and that caused a deterioration in profitability. Further, we can also observe that the expense issue is quite recent, isn't it? We can see that for the first three years in the data, expenses were growing at approximately the same rate as sales. Management seems to have been doing a good job in these years at controlling costs while growing. It isn't until the final year in our data that things change. So now we can focus our analysis quickly on the salient issues that this company is facing. For example, as a next step, we might ask, what's going on in expenses? So we can get more detail and more data, and it would look something like this. Again, just looking at the raw numbers doesn't tell us a whole lot very quickly. Was the culprit uh, cost of goods sold? Was it advertising or was it some other expense? Or are all of them an issue? Again, horizontal analysis can help us dig deeper into this. 
So if we conduct a horizontal analysis for our new detailed expense data, uh, we would do it the same way. By holding the base year 2013 constant at 100% and expressing each subsequent year as a percentage of the base, 2013. And we can get to our answer very quickly. We can see here that cost of goods sold in 2016 is only 122% of 2013, while sales increased 128%. This means that costs of sales have increased slower than sales and they've become more efficient over time. How about advertising? Here too, it's easy to see that advertising has only grown to 19% uh, relative to a 28% increase in sales. So advertising is also becoming more efficient. We now know that our li our, the answer lies in other expenses. So we can dig deeper there and we would do that in the same way that we've just done. We break down other expenses into its component details. So horizontal analysis can also be useful when we compare one company to another. And here, for example, is Nike again, but compared with Foot Locker. And right away, we can see a couple things that Nike is a significantly larger company than is Foot Locker at $32 billion. Nike's revenue is more than four times Foot Locker's 7.7 .7 billion. And we know that Nike grew from 25 to 32 billion. And we can see that Foot Locker grew in the same period from six and a half to 7.7 .7 billion. So is one company doing better than the other? So th this can be hard to compare in the raw form. So horizontal analysis can help us with this as well. By adding horizontal analysis for Foot Locker, we can see very quickly that revenue for Foot Locker is 119% of what it was in 2013. And this compares with Nike's 128. So we can say that in this period, Nike grew faster than Foot Locker. But what about expenses? You can see what's happening. Even though they're growing the top line slower, Foot Locker's net income is 155 or 55% more than it was four years earlier. And this compares to Nike's 78. So we can say that Foot Locker is doing a better job of growing net profit, even on slower sales growth. It's also interesting to see here that in 2014, both companies grew revenue by 10%. And we can see that because the 2014% revenue values in each company are identical at 110%. For Nike, when they grew sales by 10%, their expenses also grew by 10%, so their profit stays more or less in proportion to the top line. The story is different though for Foot Locker. In 2014, when they grew sales by 10%, they managed to grow profits by 21, more than twice the rate of sales. So that is the power of horizontal analysis.